Hello and welcome to me being Neo the Flamingo 40 Stam. I know that's a weird title, but it's not really a guide, it's just me showing you a team that you could possibly use. Since it's reasonably fast. I'm using Sengoku as a captain since you know he boosts everyone by times three and he gives you minus two on CD. So obviously if you have two, it's minus four on CDs. The team is T-Bone, Momonga, Kobe, and Tesoro. Tesoro is very useful because he gives you full matching orbs, but he will not be boosted by the two Sengokus. T-Bone is therefore a little bit of a uh, safety since he can give you a 90% defense buff and is also cerebral so he gets boosted by Momonga who boosts cerebral characters by 1.75 times as a special. Kobe obviously boosts your orbs for two turns. And Sengoku special can be used if it's on a loan off CD but mine is not. You want to have as much uh, auto heal as you want uh, as you can have anyway. It will be very useful to speed run it otherwise you might have to store a bit longer to get meat orbs and stuff. If you don't have Sengoku, you can use the Sorrow as a captain, but it will be slower since you won't get the cooldown reduction and you obviously do less damage. You can also use Time Skip Luffy, uh, the free version, but that again will be slower. Having Anti Bind as well will be very useful on stage 4. So, with all that said, let's get started. So, the team I'm using here is pretty fast. Uh, it's actually hampered by the fact that my Momonga is not max CD. Like, I think he's currently at 22, but thanks to Sengoku reducing his cooldown by 4 turns, and then having one. Uh, CD socket means that he's on a 17 CD to start with, which is reasonable to kind of speed run. The only thing you really have to think about is on this stage, you want to get the giant to below 20% HP so that he buffs his own attack but doesn't actually attack yet. I mean, you, just, you buy yourself another three turns of stall. You don't want to take any damage at all, pretty much through this Fortnite. So, having auto heal is super important. The main reason, obviously, is because Tesoro will give you full matching orbs. If you're above 50% HP, I mean 50% HP or above. And Doflamingo, as you should know, will reduce your HP to 50%. So, I mean, we'll half it. So, if you have any damage on your L, it won't activate. So, you want to make sure that you don't take any damage, which is why auto heal is really good. On this stage, you're going to stall on the crab. If you if your CD on anyone is longer than uh, 17 turns, then you want to stall on the Telt as well. I, yeah, I, didn't, I messed up on the giant, so I'm going to tank one hit from the Telt as well just to have an extra turn of stall. You want to get um, your longest CD, which I need is Momonga, to be uh, 5 before you leave this stage, so 4 when you start the next stage. So I'm going to tank this hit, which is fine because I have 500 HP heal every turn thanks to auto heal. And then hit him with Tesoro since he only has a 4 hit combo, giving you the longest amount of stall. As you can see the crab hits for about 2k, which is fine because I heal up over the 4 turns stalling him. 40 stam is pretty easy I guess you could say but the drop rate is not that great. On the first day I got 5 copies and I was like that's amazing I can just do 40 stem and it'll be a lot of uh, copies and then today I got 1 out of 9 runs which is awful. On this stage you can use Kobe and Momonga first to kill the dude since they have higher combo hits than 4. All these guys have 5 HP or really a lot of defense so Momonga and Kobe have 4 hits I mean have 6 hits and everyone has 4 so you can pair them off. So two, two four hits will kill one guy, and then obviously Kobe and Momonga will kill, will kill one each. Here, if you have anti-lock, obviously you won't get locked at all, which is really nice, which is why you leave that guy alive. You get two extra turns of stall, and as you can see, Momonga will be up on the next turn. And on the final stage, obviously cuts your HP in half and gives himself immunity. And luckily, because it says 50% or above, Tesoro will give us all full matching orbs. Momonga will then boost everyone's attack by 1.75 times, and then Kobe will boost orbs by 1.5 times. Kobe himself doesn't actually get a boost, and nor does Tesoro, obviously, because he is not costing less than 20. But it should be more than enough damage to kill one of them and deal a significant amount of damage to the other one as well. As you can see in this run, I got a copy, which is nice, but uh, don't be, expect that to happen every time. You can use Sengoku, just kill him for style points, but it's not necessary. So I hope this guide helps you if you're trying to run 40 stem. You probably have a faster team, maybe not. This might help you out. If you have any other teams, you can post them down in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, my Nakama!